Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Living with Nate and Sian. So, I wanted to talk to you today about why is debt a problem? Is it actually worth getting yourself into debt and wasting so much money and in interest where you can use that money towards something else? What are your thoughts about it? You know, leave a comment below because I want to know what you think. I want you to go back in time and I want you to do an estimate about how much money and interest you actually think you've wasted in life. You know, I'm going to be honest, I don't know how much money of interest I've actually wasted in my life and just to even think about it, it kind of makes me sick to my stomach. Think of your cars, your house, think of everything that you're paying for interest. On a 30 year mortgage, do you realize that you're going to be paying over double the price of your house if you're actually going to pay it off in 30 years? So I would suggest paying it off a heck of a lot sooner. Not everybody has the money to just go and pay a house outright. So another question I want to ask you, and again, leave it in the comments because I'd love to know. Why are you on a debt-free journey? Why are you out looking to become debt-free? Are you sick of having the creditors get richer and not yourself? Are you sick of not being able to live financially free? I mean, that's me. You know, I want to be the one that controls my money, where it goes, how it gets invested, how to make a dollar double itself, if not triple, quadruple. When is the last time you actually owned a big purchase item outright? Could be a car, motorcycle, house, I mean something in the thousands and thousands of dollar range, you know. I mean honestly, I think the only thing I actually own right now is a TV, you know, and that just makes me sick to my stomach. And even then, even then that wasn't that expensive. It was like 700 bucks. And also laptop, GoPro, stuff like that. But, um, which I did actually just get a new GoPro so I can help get better content for you all as well. Um, we just got the GoPro Hero 8. And I don't, look th I don't look at that as a debt or anything because we did pay it cash outright. Um, and it is an investment as well. So do you feel that it's worth becoming debt free? Think of what you could actually do with the money. Like really, really think about it. Let's say you've spent $100,000 in interest within the time of your life so far. Some people have spent more. You know, and that's, that's really, really sickening. Just to think that you could possibly have been a millionaire by now just by own, having that $100,000 in to your name to put down on a rental property or, you know, invest it into the stock market or something that's going to give you dividends or, you know, some good interest. So I actually want to start being more interactive with you all and that's going to also help me be motivated to create more content with you all. When somebody sends us a comment, we try it for everybody that leaves us a comment to reply back to them. Now I fully understand once this channel grows and we're just piled with comments and everything, it will eventually get really hard to get back to everybody. But now, right now as it's a smaller channel, you know, we will message you back. Also feel free to ask us any questions as well. We're pretty much an open book. So, I want you to go ahead and write down some goals for you. I want you to write down a one-year goal, a five-year goal, and a ten-year goal. And the reason for those goals is when you write a goal down, you're more, you have more of a chance to hit that goal than if you don't write it down. And I want you to look at those goals every single day so you can remind yourself what your goals are and how you're going to get there. Now, our channel is just not about 
becoming debt free. You know, this is about our lives. And right now, this is our life, is becoming debt free. So, eventually, you all will see different things on this channel the more that we become debt free. And while even while we're becoming debt free, you're going to see more and more things on this channel. But right now, we are talking about debt. Now, it's been really hard for me to keep uploading videos and creating content, but I'm trying as hard as I can to be able to create content for you all and keep videos coming out as well. And the reason for it is because I do work a full-time job. I work tons and tons of hours every single week. Um, last week, I, I think I worked 56 hours for the week. And typically I do have three days off, but um, which my days off are Wednesday, Thursday, and Sundays. But my job is pretty physically intense and I do get pretty worn out. So before this, I was a truck driver and I worked a lot of hours like I do now, but it wasn't physically intense. So I have to pretty much work up to it. Now I am starting to get more energetic and everything and like I said, I'm trying my best to get as much content out as possible for you all. So let's go ahead and get back into the debt. So with our debt and everything is most of our debt is just vehicle debt. We do have a house in California but I don't really look at that as debt because it is a rental income property. Um, even though we don't really make much rental income, actually, we don't really make any rental income pro or money out of that at the moment, but eventually we will. So the reason why we have so much vehicle debt is, honest, honestly, it's my fault. You know, I have a passion for vehicles, um, you know, cars, trucks lifted fast uh, other than I just got into the hybrid scene but uh, doing more like electric stuff and solar and you know trying to be more off grid as possible and that's due to financial as well so another question I have is, what kind of debts do you have? Again, go ahead and leave it in the comments because, uh, you know, I'm curious to know what kind of debts people have. What kind of plans of actions do you have to pay your debt down? You know, we decided that we're trying to accelerate our debt to pay it down as fast as possible. But we also don't want to get burnt out and get stuck into going and financing or refinancing or buying new things under debt. And the reason for that is because we're tired of the cycle. Our plan is, is once we're debt free, we're going to take most of our money and put it into investments so we can grow our wealth. So that brings me to our next subject is, how are you planning on building wealth? Do you plan on buying rental properties? Do you invest, uh, do you plan on investing into REITs? Do you plan on investing into the stock market? Again, let us know. Here's Tippy. Tippy wants to be in the video. You know, I'm learning as well. Um, if I could teach you all something, I definitely will. Now, I do know there is such thing as good debt and there's such thing as bad debt. And what I mean by that is, in instance, good debt, real estate, that's good debt. If it's going to make you money, that's good debt. Debt that's going to build your wealth. If it's going to, you're going to make more money from the money that you're actually spending. So I'm not saying to go out and go buy a million dollar mansion or, or well, not even a mansion for a million dollars anymore. I mean, you can just buy a regular house for a million. 
uh, single family house. But that's besides the case, depending on where you're at in the country. But uh, here in Washington, uh, we're in the Puyallup area, and uh, we, you know, I mean, $500,000 doesn't get you much here. That doesn't mean I'm going to go out and spend seven, eight, nine hundred thousand dollars on a house unless it absolutely makes sense where it's going to make us money. So another thing is while you're becoming debt free, should you go out and buy a house? My answer is absolutely not. The reason I say that is because you're just going to get further and further in debt by doing that. You buy a house, then you need to buy a refrigerator, new stove, couch, you know. I mean, pretty much when we buy a house, we're going to have to all we're going to have to completely start from scratch. Beds, you know, uh, we do have a lot of stuff in California and eventually we'll have to buy a trailer because when we do buy a house here we're not planning on living in it forever it'll eventually be a rental property all right fam we're gonna wrap this video up here um again write down your goals one year five year ten year plan you know i mean if, if you want to write down a six months plan you can um you know whatever you feel comfortable with and do whatever it takes to hit those goals. Do you have to go out and get another job or uh, just do side things or whatever to make a little extra money to hit those goals? Do it. You won't regret it in the long run. And don't forget to have fun along your way because the last thing you want to do is failure. The last thing you want to do is fail. But... If you haven't yet, like, subscribe, leave us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell notification because like we always say, we love hearing from you. We'll catch you all later.